Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. This time last week on Terrific Tip Tuesday, I told you about my filing system for my free motion quilting rulers using one of these plastic files that I purchased from Amazon. This is the perfect solution to all, for all of these small, normally less than six inch rulers. It keeps them secure. You can fold them up and take them with you if you need to, and that works great. If you need more information about that particular system, I'll put a link here. But today I wanna to talk about how to store some of our larger rulers. Now, when I say large, I'm not talking about the long 24 inch rulers that we use day in and day out to cut our strips or the, uh, the, the six and a half inch uh, square up rulers that we use or any of those that are used on a daily basis. For me, those reside on a wooden shelf just underneath my cutting table where I can get to them quickly, I can put them up quickly and they stay out of my way. Today, I'm talking about the rulers that are our specialty rulers, those that we don't use every day, but when we get ready to use them, we need to know where they are and we need to know that they are well protected. My solution is very similar to what I was using for the, the quilting rulers. It is a plastic file folder like this. Again, purchased from Amazon. I'll put a link in the, the show notes so you can buy one yourself if you'd like it. The thing that I like about this filing system is that I can put not only the ruler in there, but also the instructions. So I have a lot of Deb Tucker rulers. So let's say I want, I have this four patch square up ruler. So I have the ruler, which is great, but I also need the instructions. So I can put the two of them together and slide them in one of these slots and they're there whenever I need them. Or maybe her wing clipper ruler, same thing. Pick a slot, drop the ruler and the instructions in there. Split wrecks, same thing. Ruler and instructions in one place, all secured. Square squared, same thing, you got it. Ruler and instructions in one slot. One more Deb Tucker ruler, her 60 degree diamond ruler. Fits right in here. And very importantly, this very large set of instructions can go right in there with the ruler. So I don't have to worry about keeping that someplace because that's big, it's hard to file. Some of the smaller ones are easier. I also use my easy angle triangle can go in here. I also use uh, the some of the quilts in a day rulers or this is a Bonnie Hunter easy angle. Very easy just to slip them in one of those spots. And finally, this is my block lock ruler or my larger one. The smaller one I keep closer to my table in one of the drawers because I use it all the time. This one I don't use as often, so it can very easily sit in one of these, these um, holders right there. Or there's the Cat in a Cradle uh, ruler that, by the way, I bought and have never used. And with the instructions for it, pop it in the slot and it's ready to go. I do have one ruler that won't fit, one of my Deb Tucker rulers. It is the Diamond Rex, and it's just a funky shape and just a little bit too big to fit in there. I could probably fit it, but I'm afraid it might end up splitting this area here, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna put that on another shelf, but I am gonna take the instructions and I'm gonna file them in here so that I know where they are when I get ready to use it. It sure beats having all of this stuff in the bottom of a drawer, all jumbled up, um, these are going to be safe and going to be taken care of well. We're not going to get broken corners on them. And I love having this as my filing system for my medium-sized rulers. So that's my solution, a plastic file folder system like this. Now, some of you have other ways that you are, are storing your rulers. Several of you have written to me about them. I would love to hear from you how you store your rulers and what new things that you've come up with to keep those rulers safe. So please, reach out to me and let me know. Remember that I can also be found on my uh, website at francisquilts.com and I have a daily blog there as well. Thank you for joining me here today and I look forward to seeing you next time on Francis Quilts. Or maybe her wing clipper ruler, same thing. Pick a slot. Ah! <laughs> Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 
Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com, and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.